Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Hourglass's new ambient lighting edit unlocked collection. I have all three palettes. Uh, we're going to be doing swatches and we're going to be trying them on. So what is fun about the palette is that you're able to customize the artwork with the palette. I customized palette number one with the owl, palette number two with the jellyfish, and palette number three with the leopard. They also have a, an, a snake artwork, and uh, that I think I'm gonna try to use at some of the time. The palettes consist of new shades, but also best-selling shades. And they come with um, bronzers, finishing powders, highlighters, and blushes. Okay, so palette number one, I chose the owl. And let's do that. I saved the plastic covering for this moment. And there you go. <laughs> it's a beautiful owl, white owl. It's just beautiful. Now this palette consists of two finishing powders, two blushes, one highlighter and one bronzer. Uh, finishing powder at diffuse light. It is a warm pale yellow. The second one is a new one. It's blush and rose fusion. It is a cool mauve. The third one across is a metallic strobe powder, which is you know highlighter and opal strobe light, which is a pale rose gold. Bottom right is a bronzer. It's also a new a new um, shade. Uh, it's Lunar Bronze, which is a matte warm bronze. Number five is also a bestseller. It's a blush and diffused heat, a vibrant poppy. And at number six, another finishing powder, an ethereal light, which is a cool translucent. So from these whole, all six shades, only three are new. And the palette number one, I would say it's more of lighter skin tones. Beautiful. Um, for palette number two, I chose the jellyfish. And here we go again. Take off the plastic covering. Nice. Okay, so palette number two is geared, I would say geared towards, uh, towards a middle skin tone. This palette only has one new shade, but it comes with one finishing powder, three blushes, one bronzer, and one highlighter. So from number one is the finishing powder in dim light, which is a natural beige. The second one is a metallic um, highlighter, celestial strobe, which is a pale gold. The third is a blush, mood exposure, which is a soft plum. The fifth one, which is a new one, a, a new blush, ethereal flush, is a soft peach. Number six is a bronzer, lustrous bronze light, and it's a bronze heat. Now this is more, I would say more of my, my skin tone. Um, very nice as well. But like I said, uh, the only disappointing part in palette number two is that it doesn't have any new shades. So that's something to think about. The third palette, I chose the leopard. There it goes. Beautiful, this is part of my favorite artwork. Well, actually they're all pretty awesome. I actually really do like all of them. So pretty. Now this is more of a darker tone. Most of the shades on this palette are new. Um, there's only one that is not new, which is the, the lighting powder in Radiant Light. It's a golden beige. That's the first one on the right side. The rest are all new. So number two is a blush with the ambient lighting blush, a coral haze. It's a pink coral. 
Number three is a metallic strobe finish, um, an infinite strobe light, which is a warm gold. Four, a light, a blush sunbeam, which is a rich peach. A strobe lighting blush, which is a mystic flush. It's a mid-tone pink coral. And a bronzer, solar bronze, which is a rich bronze. Now these are the newest ones. I think they're beautiful, but they're just a tad too dark for me. But I think we can work with this. I think we could create a look using these as well. So let's try them on. Okay. I am wearing the Hourglass Veil Tint Hydrating Skin Tint. And I am also using the Dentasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And uh, what else? And a little bit of the Hourglass Lip Oil. That's all I have on right now. And of course, a little, uh, my eyebrows and a little bit of mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the translucent powder in palette number one, which is the bottom left. Just to diffuse all of this shininess. I'm going to use, let's see, on palette number two, I am going to use the bronzer, which is on the bottom left. It is bronze heat. So I'm gonna use a little bronzer. Go ahead and bronze. And this is not a new shade. I'm going to try to use at least a couple of shades in every palette because it's impossible <laughs> to use all the shades at once. So I'm going to do, I'm going to apply what I think will look best for my skin tone. Let me see, I'm going to use the newest blush in palette number one, which is Rose Fusion. It's actually really pretty. This is a new, a new shade. I'm going to use on palette number two, the metallic, um, the highlighter in Celestial Strobe Light. And use a little bit of the highlighter. Just, oh, thanks. <laughs> now that's a highlight. Wow. Now I'm going to use palette number three. I'm gonna use those shades as eyeshadows because they look, I'm really liking shade number four. The, it's actually a blush and sunbeam, but I think it's so pretty. I think it would look really nice as an eyeshadow. So let's try that one. And also I'm going to try the the top, the top powder as an eyeshadow as well, which is shade number one. This one here is an eyeshadow, which I'm gonna apply all over my lid. You can't really tell too much. I think it's just a little bit more skin tone. Skin tone of a shade. And now I'm going to 
use the Sunbeam. The Sunbeam blush all over my lid. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna apply the bronzer in Solar Bronze, which is a rich bronze, in the outer corners. Give some depth. They apply very nicely. And then I'm gonna use the, the metallic highlighter as in the inner corner. <clears throat> I'm going to apply just a little bit more mascara. I'm going to go ahead and set it just a little bit more with this palette number one finishing powder. Just a little bit on my T zone. And I'm going to finish it off with the Hourglass Lip Oil. And this is in Bear. This is actually one of my favorite lip oils. This is a very corally shade. And that is it guys. This is using all three palettes on my face. I did my best to create a nice look using all three palettes. I hope you like it. And uh, this is such a beautiful collection. Oh, and I love the artwork. I will be getting the snake hopefully next month. Um, these are beautiful. It's a beautiful collection. Um, being, nine, being that they are, the palettes are $90, um, palette number two might be one to think twice on, especially if you have the previous collections because there's only there's only one shade that is new in that, in that palette. Palette number one and palette number three are very nice and palette number three is probably the one that has, uh, the one that I would say would benefit you the most since, especially if you have the other collections because mostly all of those shades are new except for one shade. And palette number one has three. Half of the half of the palette are new shades. So it's really up to you guys. But I'm just giving you all the information so you can make a better decision. And that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with me. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment. Let me know what else you would love me, you would like for me to showcase. And I'll see you next time. Have a good day.